Now that you have filed, your guardianship case has been given a case number as well as a hearing date, time, and department. Your next step is to provide legal notice to the relatives of the child that you have filed for guardianship. Your first step in doing this is to complete the Notice of Hearing, Guardianship, or Conservatorship, which is contained in the Guardianship Part 2 packet, which may be downloaded from the Sacramento County Superior Court or may be individually downloaded through the Judicial Council's website. The form number for this form is GC-020. By now, the top caption of the form should be familiar to you. In the top box where it says Attorney or Party Without Attorney, Complete your name, address, and telephone number, and then write in pro per in the line that says Attorney 4. If two or more of you are applying for guardianship in your petition, write the first person's name, followed by an ampersand or the word and, and then the next name. This will allow the clerk to know that the names are separate and not part of a single long name. If you downloaded the Part 2 packet from the court, the next box contains the court information already filled in. If you downloaded the form elsewhere, pause this video and c copy the court information onto your form. Below that, check the boxes for guardianship, person, and minor, and then in the box write the name of the child or children you are seeking guardianship of. Then, copy your case number into the box that says Case Number to the right. This is the number stamped on the first page of each of your forms that, in Sacramento, begins with a 34, a dash, followed by the year you first filed the case, then a dash, followed by eight digits. In Sacramento, if for any reason any letters follow the end of the numbers, you may ignore these letters. In paragraph 1, after the words, Notice is given that, Write the name or names that you wrote in the caption at the top of the page. Skip over the line that says representative capacity, if any. And then, after has filed, write petition for appointment of guardian of the person, as shown on the screen. This alerts the court and relatives to know that you have filed a form called petition for appointment of guardian of the person with the probate court. Skip over items 2 and 3. When you reach item 4, check the department box and then write the date, time, and department number for your hearing. This information is listed on the upper right of the Petition for Appointment of Guardian of Minor form that the clerk returned to you after writing this information. Just below that, in section 4B, check the box that says Same as noted above. You are now ready to have relatives served with notice. Each relative that will require service will receive a copy of this Notice of Hearing, Guardianship, or Conservatorship form, as well as a copy of your Guardianship Petition, Form GC-210P, including all of the Child Information Attachments, Form GC-210CA, that were included in your filing. You will need to make additional copies of the Notice and Guardianship Petition with attachments, so that you have enough copies to have each of the relatives served. The law requires that at least 15 days prior to the guardianship hearing, the following relatives be served with a copy of the Notice of Hearing, as well as a copy of the Petition for Appointment of Guardian of the Minor. The minor child you are seeking guardianship of if he or she is 12 years old or older, the parents of that child, any brothers and sisters of that child who are 12 years old or older, including any half-brothers or sisters, and finally, the grandparents of that child. No other relatives need be served with notice. In addition, if there is already a guardianship for the child, his or her current guardian must be served with notice and the copy of the petition, and finally, if the child has Native American ancestry, then additional notices will be required, which will be discussed in another video. While any person can be served by personal service, the parents of the child for which you are seeking guardianship, as well as the child him or herself if he or she is 12 years old or older, are the only persons that must be served by personal service. 
This means that someone over the age of 18 who isn't a party to this case, meaning not you, or anyone who would be entitled to receive notice of this hearing, should walk up to the person being served, confirm his or her identity, and hand over a copy of the notice of hearing, guardianship, or conservatorship, as well as a copy of the petition. Ideally, the process should go relatively painlessly, like so. Are you John Smith? Yes. What do you want? I have some important legal documents for you. Thank you. One of the most common questions is what to do if the person won't accept the papers. As long as the server has face-to-face -face contact with the person to be served, the server may then leave the documents in the presence of the relative to be served, which would look something like this. I have some important legal documents for you. I don't want those. I'll just leave them here with you then. Once the service is complete, the server completes a proof of personal service form. Although there are several different types, the form GC-020P is shown. This form has the benefit of permitting a server to list multiple persons being served on the same form. If one person serves one or more persons and another serves another person, they would each create their own proof of service form. At the top of this form, you would check the boxes for guardianship, person, and minor, and write the name of the child or children for which you are seeking guardianship. In paragraph 3, Check the box to indicate that the server gave the people being served a copy of the notice of hearing as well as a copy of the petition for appointment of guardian. Below that, in item 5, the box for A, not a registered process server, is checked. If you used a professional process server, the server would be familiar with the forms and would provide one for you. In paragraph 6, the name, address, and telephone number of the person who served the papers for you is written. Remember, this cannot be you or someone else who is entitled to have notice of this hearing. In the boxes below, the name of the person served is written in a left-hand side box, the address where service took place is printed in the middle box, and finally, the date and time that person was served is filled in on the right-hand side. This address does not need to be a home address or a work address. It is merely the address where service took place. Once the serves are complete, the server dates and signs on the left bottom of the form. The signature line on the right-hand bottom is not used. Once this is complete, Attach this as the third page to the Notice of Hearing Guardianship or Conservatorship. The grandparents of the minor and any of his or her siblings 12 years of age or older can be served by mail. Once again, this service must be performed by someone over the age of 18 who is not a party in this case. To serve, the person serving needs to mail a copy of the Notice of Hearing, Guardianship, or Conservatorship, as well as a copy of the Petition for Appointment of Guardian of the Person to each of these relatives. The proof of service by first-class mail is already the second page of the Notice of Hearing, Guardianship, or Conservatorship form. This proof of service should be completed, but not signed, prior to mailing. At the top of the form, check the boxes for guardianship, person, and minor, and write the name of the child or children for which you are seeking guardianship. Write the case number in the upper right-hand corner. In the middle of the page, for item 2, write the address of the person who is serving the documents for you by mail. In paragraph 3, check the box for depositing. Depositing means that the server is placing a copy of the documents with enough postage in a mailbox or mailing them from a post office. In 4A, the date of mailing is written down, and in 4B, the city and state from which mailing is taking place is written. 
Box 5 should be checked to indicate that the person is mailing both a copy of the notice of hearing with proof of service by mail and a copy of the petition for appointment of guardian of the person with, with any childhood information attachments. Finally, the date of signing and the name of the server is printed below. At the very bottom of the form, list the name of the person or persons being served in the boxes on the left and their address as it appears on the envelope in the boxes to the right. Make as many copies of the Notice of Hearing, Guardianship or Conservatorship and Petition for Appointment of Guardian of the Person as you need to mail each person listed a copy. The server then mails the forms to each of the persons listed. Mailing should be by regular first-class mail. Do not use certified or registered mail, as there is a good chance those will result in your mailing being returned without the recipient receiving notice of the hearing. Once mailing is complete, the server signs his or her name on the signature line. If you have had any persons personally served, attach the proof of personal service to the end of this form, and then make two more copies. The copies are each stapled, but as with your prior documents, the original is not stapled. File these with the court, preferably at least 15 days prior to your hearing. In the next segment, we will discuss handling relatives whose identities are not known or who are difficult or impossible to locate for service.